Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna do a little quick fraction review. We're gonna do least common denominator, fractions in simplest form, and converting mixed numbers and improper fractions. So let's first start with least common denominator. How do you find a common denominator? Well, you're gonna find the least common multiple for the two denominators. Make equivalent fractions using your least common multiple as the denominator. So let's do some practice. So 2 thirds and 1 sixth, okay? So let's find our LCM. So we're going to start with 3 and 6, 3, 6, 9, 6. Oh, there's our LCM. So we want our denominator to be 6. So 3 times what gets me 6? 3 times 2 gets me 6. So then you have to do the same thing to the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. So now over here, 6 times what gets me 6? 1. Same number gets multiplied. Whatever you multiply on the bottom, you got to multiply on the top. So 1 times 1 is 1. So to get common denominators, we had 4 6 and 1 6. Okay, let's try another one. 4 fifths and 1 half. So we're going to list out our multiples of 5, 10, 15, and the multiples of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There it is. 10 is our denominator. So let's figure it out. 5 times what gets me 10? 5 times 2. So multiply the same thing on the top. The reason that works is 2 over 2 is 1. So you're multiplying 4 fifths times 1, which is the same number it just is in a different form. It's just cut up into different size pieces, but it's still the same amount of pieces. So four times two is eight, so that changed to eight tenths. Then two times what is 10? Five, one times five is five. So here we go, let's try three fourths and five twelfths. So three, six, nine, 12. Well, there's 12, that's gotta be it, because that's the first factor of 12. So what are we going to multiply to get to denominator of 12? 4 times 3 is 12. Multiply the same on the top. 3 times 3 is 9. 12 times 1 is 12. 5 times 1 is 12. So let's do this one. So this one is a mixed number first. Remember, a mixed number is the whole number and the fraction. But when we do least common denominator, really we just keep the two there and we just change the one fourth. So then we have five six times what equals, so here we go, four, eight, 12, six, 12, there's 12, there we go, so 12. 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3, but we still have to bring that 2 over, so it's 2 and 3 twelfths, times 2, times 2, and then 10 twelfths. That's how we get common denominators. You use least common multiple to get a common denominator. So let's practice simplest form. You are going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor, by the G, whoop. Shouldn't have typed, E, S, T. G, C, F, okay, simplest form, G, C, F. So what number can both eight and 12 be divided by? Well, we can do our T charts. 1 and 8, 2 and 4, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, GCF is 4. So yes, you could have divided both by 2, but that's not going to get it to be the simplest form. So 4 divided by, or sorry, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so it's 2 thirds in simplest form. Here we go, 15 and 40. 1 and 15, 3 and 5, 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10, 5 and 8, GCF is 5. 
So 15 divided by 5 is 3, 40 divided by 5 is 8, simplified is 8 thirds. Okay, I want you to try this, these two on your own and then come back and check it. So I hope you tried it on your own. Here we go, let's do 6 and 22. So 1 and 22, 2 and 11, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, 2. So the whole number stays the same. You're gonna divide this by two, divide this by two, and six divided by two is three, 22 divided by three is 11, five and three elevenths is it simplified. Nine is just one and nine, three and three. 36 is one and 36, three and 12, four and nine, six and six. The greatest common factor is nine, so divide by nine, divide by nine, nine divided by nine is one, 36 divided by nine is four. Okay, go ahead and try these two and then come back and watch. Okay, so here we go, 12 and 16, one and 12, two and six, three and four, one and 16, two and eight, four and four. Greatest common factor is four. So divide by four, divide by four. 12 divided by four is three. 16 divided by four is four, three fourths. Seven is just one and seven. 49 is one and 49, seven and seven. Divide by seven, divide by seven, we get one seventh. Okay. Next part, converting mixed numbers and improper fractions. So this is going from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So the one with the whole number to an improper fraction where the numerator is bigger. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply the whole number by the denominator. And then you're gonna add that, that product, that answer you get to the numerator. Okay. So I always say to cartwheel around. Ooh, let me change the drawing, sorry. I always say to cartwheel around. So you multiply and then you add. So it's gonna be five times three, which is 15, plus two is 17, and the denominator stays the same. So notice 17's on top, three's on the bottom. Here we go, we're gonna cartwheel around, multiply and then add. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Denominator stays the same of 5. So here we go. When we're going the other way, we're going from the improper fraction to the mixed number. You're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay. So I always kind of talk, we've talked about top dog in the house and I always like divide, like pretend like it's doing a back bend. Do that again, like it's doing a back bend. So it's like bending back. So 18 goes in the house divided by four. Four doesn't go into one, but how many does it go into 18 is four times minus two left over. So our answer is four and two fourths. So this is your whole number, this is your numerator, and your denominator stays the same. Okay, did you see that? The whole number is your quotient, the remainder is your numerator, and the denominator stays the same. This one we can divide both by two, so we get four and one half as our final answer. Okay, the next one, we're gonna do our back bend. 20 divided by five goes in four times. Zero as a remainder, so our answer is just four. Okay, try these ones on your own. Let's see if you can do it, and then come back and watch the video. So we're gonna cartwheel around. Nine times six plus one is 55, six. Five times five is 25, plus two is 27 fifths. So go ahead and do these ones, do your back bends. 20 divided by three, 
goes in six times, two left over, so it is six and two thirds. And then 24 divided by six goes in four times. Whoop. 24, subtract, and our answer is just four whole. We didn't have any remainder. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.